looky looky. In your own garage. Now see, just when I thought you would find a little act right, you had to go and mess that moment up too. When you left me stranded at my car, God saw fit to send me an angel with the mind and skill set of the damn devil himself. <laughs> Where's your drunk ass husband? How he managed to ruin my entire life in a matter of seven seconds. Go ahead. Tell them what you did, Pop. Tell your wife how you tried to rape your son's fiance. Why did you do that to me? You tell me what makes you think that our son is gay. Is it because we raised him to be polite? Or is it because he's not typical? When are you gonna tell mommy and daddy the truth about what's been going on with you lately? Whatever the case may be, if he is or if he isn't gay, he's still my son. In boxer briefs or laced underwear. All right, bro. So you really want me to do this? What you what you asking me to do is absolutely crazy. Hell yeah, I want you to do this. Last night, Daryl told me to come on back to his place. You know, he bought a five hundred dollar bottle of Merlot. Mm, wow. And he said he just wanted to it. open it with me. I thought he was somebody I could trust. So you ready to begin? As usual, you immediately skip to the effects of the outcome while overshadowing and belittling the, the cause of it. Then you shift the blame and the pain on me instead of stepping up and changing our narrative. I'm willing to admit that I've been toxic. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it real, I've been toxic. I just want us to work it out.